Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm coming here today to give you all the tips and tricks for you guys to achieve a supermodel, super snatch look that you see on Instagram, that you see on runways, that you see everywhere. But actually, it happens a lot through cosmetic procedures. First of all, let me say that I'm not against surgery and cosmetic procedures at all. So if you want to do it, go ahead. If you don't like something about your appearance, I'm all for people to do whatever they want to do and I'm not against it. I don't know if I will ever do it. I don't know. I know that I'm a bit scared of doctors, but the truth is that a lot of celebrities and models actually do those non-cirurgical uh, jobs. But for most of us and for most people that don't have probably the budget to be always in a clinic doing stuff and for people that don't feel good about changing themselves and for people that just want to experiment makeup can do a lot makeup is so fun to play with you can play around and become whoever you want for a day and then you remove the makeup and you're still yourself you can still love yourself and embrace your natural features so today i'm going to do a tutorial to show you guys how you can look snatched like the supermodels but without all the cosmetic surgery. So shall we start and get ourselves snatched? Okay guys, so the first thing we are going to do is the eyes. So all over Instagram you see those cat eye or ponytail brows cosmetic procedure that people are doing that is done with threads and basically there's this happening. I'm going to start with the eyes and do that kind of eye elongated look with just makeup alone. So first thing we are going to use is actually a pair of tweezers. We are going to start with the brows and basically I'm just going to shave, not shave, like pull the hairs um, of just this corner alone so it doesn't point as down as it is right now. So we are going to take like this After a few tears and running nose later and a little bit of redness, we are ready for the next steps. And we are going to use the Stilazi Smoky Quartz Gel Eyeliner. And basically you come from here and you kind of want to drag it in a straight line like this. And you can actually elongate this as much as you want to look even more snatched. And now we are going to do the same thing on the top. And then we start to fill. After you have this brow done, I'm going to add the concealer and this is going to work as an eyeshadow primer and also it's going to help our eyebrow shape. So I just start like this and here at the end is going to help us with this straight shape. And now you want to blend this with a brush but always drag the product on this direction to kind of do the shape that you want. Okay, so both our brows are snatched and now we are going to do the eyes and we are going to use a little helper, which is tape. And the tape is going to help us create the cat eye that we want, the drag eye look. So you want it like this, you don't want too much up, like going towards the brow, basically in the direction of the top of your ear. So for the eyeshadow, I'm going to start with the Sabrina palette from NYX in collaboration with Netflix and the Sabrina series. I'm going to be using Truth Cake, which is a very light nude color. And I'm going to use this to kind of set the concealer and give it a good base for all the makeup that is coming. Then we are going with a shade called Harrowing, I think that's how you say it, I don't know. Which is also a nude shade, but a little bit darker. Dragging the product from the tape to the inside. This way you're going to create a shading that helps drag the eye in the direction that you want. Now we have the color Malum Malus. <laughs> this is like spell names or whatever. Always dragging the product from the tape to its the eye. Now there's a shade here called Exorcism that it's like an earth tone but with a little bit of glow and I'm going to add that focusing a little bit more on the center of the eyelid. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm moving into the Morphe palette that has more nude shades and I'm going to start working with these browns, more like deep browns here. You are going to go in the direction of the tape and then you start dragging the product inside and now with a bigger brush you're going to do like a blending. Okay, now we are going to go with the same product we use for the brows and basically we are going on top of the tape like this and then you're going to follow the eye like you would be applying a cat eyeliner and other thing you can do for a more elongated eye is to do this part of the inner corner with a little bit of liner so you can get that cat effect it's hard to do on camera And then with a brush, I'm going to try to smudge this a little bit to be as natural as it can be and not like a cat eyeliner. Okay, final step for the eyeshadow, at least the top part, is to add a little bit of highlighter. And I have this beautiful shade from the Sabrina palette, the Class In Session, which is like a pearl shade. And I will be adding this shade here under the brow which is going to help us lift the brow even more and you're going to elongate this like this so when I snatch I'm gonna snatch the other one and come back to you okay both eyes are snatched before we remove the tape I'm going to be adding mascara this mascara is from Essence and it's one of my favorites so I'm going to add all the products on the description below now for fake lashes we are going to just apply fake lashes from the middle of the eye to the outer corner and what I like to do is to take regular fake lashes and cut them into pieces just tiny pieces like this and with the tweezers we're going to take one of the biggest pieces and just put it here with a little bit of glue you can go more in the direction of the tape than your eye and we are going to add another piece here next to it it's so much easier to apply lashes like this and I'm just going to add one more piece here and this will make like the transitions to your own lashes and you don't need to apply any more like three pieces and that's it the other eye is done and now we can remove the tape Ooh. snatch! this is so satisfying our eyes are so much more elongated now I look like a little cat now that the eyes are done, I'm going to move to the face. I'm going to be using this spray right here. This is called the Iconic London Prep Set and Glow. And the good thing about this is that it makes your skin glow, but you can use it as a primer and as a setting spray. Whew. Okay, let it dry for a second and I'm going to be applying foundation. This one is from Giorgio Armani, it's the Luminous Silk Foundation, which is my favorite if you guys are following me for a while. Probably know that I'm obsessed with this. This is the shade number six. Okay, our foundation is done. Now for the concealer, I'm going with the Fenty Beauty number 190. I'm sorry if I'm looking down, I'm looking at my mirror. And now here comes another trick. See this looking down, we are going to add the concealer and make it kind of go up. No surgery, just a whole bunch of concealer. And now let's blend this bad boy. Now the concealer is done, we are going to set this. I always set using my Essence All About Matte Powder. Now that everything is set, before we jump into the other tricks on the face, I'm going to finish the eyes. And for that I'm going to use the same highlighter shade we used on the top of the eye, but I'm going to use it here on the bottom and dragging it a little bit below the eye. Just really elongate that eye on the inner corners as well. We are just going to add mascara on the bottom lashes too. 
and I'm using the Colourpop white liner here inside the eye, more on the inner corner than the outer corner. This is going to wake us up a little bit. We're going to do contour now. I'm going to be using the Morphe contour palette and this is the number 8L. I'm gonna use this shade right here and basically the next trick is like this pull right here, this lift so you want this part of your cheekbone to be super highlighted and bright and all of this to be more dark like Kim Kardashian super thin jawline so we are going to start under the cheekbone and then drag the product down And you can add here too, on the jawline. And I'm going to use this Barbados palette from Stilazi. I'm going to be using the Private Island shade. And you want to do this weird face. And you see this shape here, that's where I'm going to go. From here up. It looks silly, I know. <laughs> And I'm going to add it on the nose as well already, so we don't need to go back to that. Now to finish the chic sculpture, I'm going to be adding highlighter and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit Palette. And I'm going to be using the Sunray shade to highlight all this area that you left without bronzer. You can go here, we really want to create this beautiful shape here that is going to be so snatched. You can even add it a little bit to the corners of your mouth and to the sheen, the top of your lid that also is going to make your lips look bigger and here on the tip of the nose that's going to lift our nose and a little bit here between your eyes Okay, so both cheeks are snatched and but we are going to contour the nose with the same contour shade I like to contour here on the bottom and that's going to create our fake nose job <laughs> so then I'm going to contour here I'm gonna do mine like this really close <laughs> now the only thing left for us to do is the lips one of the cosmetic procedures people do on the lips is fillers lip fillers I think is the, probably the most done cosmetic procedure so we are going to have um, some tricks to make our lips look more juicy and big first we are going to do a little bit of contouring with the same shade that we've been using we are going to add here below the lip and this is going to create a shadow that instantly makes your lip look bigger the bottom lip and then we have our friend lip liner that helps a lot so i'm going to use a dark lip liner like a brown one and you can go as crazy as you want i already have big lips on my own like especially the bottom lip is so much bigger than the top a little bit weird so i usually don't overline much on the bottom but i do overline a little bit on the top so i usually go over the cupid's bow in a straight line you guys ask me a lot which lipstick I wear I have a video that I'm going to pop here which is my favorite nude lipsticks and pretty much they are still the same but there's this new one that's not on the video that I've been wearing non-stop this is called the Brunch Me and it's a NYX sweet um, lipstick so I'm applying this with gentle taps and do the same here on the bottom lip mm. Feels good to be snatched to a tea. with this look I hope you guys like it I haven't done a makeup story in a while and this was a fun one I think it's a very cool look and I would love to see all of you getting snatched and also give a thumbs up in this video if you like makeup tutorials and if you want to see more and don't forget to subscribe I really want to grow my YouTube family and I hope to see you again on next Tuesday 